That's that is gold. It looks like it doesn't it. That's a very Oh my god, I think you might have gold. And look at that. Everybody, we're hitting the field again today. We got Chris finally back in the field. What's up, Chris? How you doing? Good and uh, he got a little head start on me, so uh, we, we're just getting here, but he's got a couple finds. Let's see what you got, Chris. Uh, just a flat button. A little flat button here. That's an old colonial flat button. This property, you know, we've hit uh, some 1600. Got a cob in here and all. And, uh, Whatever that is. Yeah, not sure about that one. Would that be? And a little, little musket ball. Yep, a little small caliber. All right, man. Let's get going. You ready, Chris? Yeah, I Let's am. do it, man. Let's do it. Has anybody ever found out before? Canslaw. That's my first target right there. All right, here we go. All right, we got a target right in this area right here. I think I see it. Let's make sure. See, that's it right there. Don't know what it is yet, dude. Let's check it out. What is that? Man, you come across so much um, copper and different pieces in the field. You know what, you know what it could be. See if there's any writing on anywhere. I don't see any writing. Definitely some kind of decorative copper. We'll check it out. Close out. All right, everybody. My first really good target here. 45. You know we like that number. That's what the cob was. Not far from here. So we got to take that one for sure. Almost guarantee it's got to be a button or something good with that number. Guys, I think I see it already out of the ground right here. Look at it. And it looks silver. Look at that. I think we could have silver here. We all think. Unbelievable. I think we got silver. That's got to be silver. What is it though? I don't know. Ah! Seated dime. Look at that. Unbelievable. Let's clean up and get a date off that thing. Awesome. All right, we got silver in the bag. 1885. Had to take a picture to be able to see it. My eyes won't see it right without my reading glasses. Might have touched it just a, it couldn't touch it. it was sitting right on top like that today. I don't think we touched it, but that's pretty cool. All right, here we go. All right, we got more copper here. Let's see what we got here. Let's wipe off a little bit here. I'm thinking I know what this is. Yeah, that's a harmonica reed, no question. You see where the little reeds go in right there. Let me get in here where you can see it. Got to watch my camera so I know what I'm doing here. Definitely a harmonica reeds. Definitely some activity right here where we're at right now. So we're going to circle around this area a little bit and see what we can find. All right, check it out. We got a 44-45. I just had Chris come over and check it himself right here. And it's got a good note. It's deep, though. It's not real loud, but it's right up there with silver. Let's see what we got here. It's going to be deep, though. I'm going to go down kind of far if I can. That last one showed up right outside the clog, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not going to be down there yet, I don't think. She's pretty deep. Oh, she uh oh, what is that? Uh -oh, something down in the ground there. Yeah, some rocks and stuff here. But that could be something down there that's giving me that number two. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yes, yeah. I don't see any can throwing out there to me yet. That's a good sign. I don't see any silver yet either. Uh oh! It's uh, something big. I felt it. I don't know if that's a buckle or what there. I'm going to have to clean that up at home. Definitely some kind of... It looks like a buckle. We'll check it out. Hi, right, Chris says he's got something over here. Let's check him out. We're right in the same area. We've been getting stuff out. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's got something. That might be a buckle. You know what? It's big. It's big, though. Holy smoke. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it? oh, it's a gear. It's a gear. It's a gear to a clock or something. Oh, man. man. That had you going there, Chris. Seen that big round copper like that brass? Yeah, maybe a sheriff's, sheriff's badge. You know? uh, all right, man. Let's keep digging. This area is still hot. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, we got a 42. Let's go 90 degrees. 42, 43. I'm on top of it. So it's pretty consistent. Pretty consistent, it's pretty deep. So you would think it would possibly be something round, maybe, with that consistent number like that. Normally one's kinda got a, oh man, it's out. I think it's in that clog right there, I'm not sure, but let's get this clog and see if we get a read in it. Let's see. Yep, I think it is, let's break it open here. 
think it is. Yep, there it is. You see it right there, and it looks round. It looks round. What do you think? I don't feel anything on back, so I don't know if it's a button, but it's definitely round. Let's see what we got here. I'm thinking a coin. I'm thinking Indian here if I could guess right now. But uh, we might have to clean up a close out and see. I don't know. We'll got to clean that up. Stay tuned. Chris, what you got, man? Looks like it got a sheriff's lock. It's got a star on it. It could be military. Anybody know if that's military or not, let us know. Star on both sides. I don't know uh, when they... St I have to look that up. We'll do some Googling on that. That could be, though. Cool job. All right, man, we'll get a few targets. Guys, these deer are getting a field out. They shoot them. Sometimes they don't find them. That's actually a jawbone with teeth in it of a deer that didn't make it right there. Look at that. All right, let's get back to Texas. Here we go. All right, last time we were here, I told Chris, I can't believe we hadn't found any large scent. And we found two of them. Both of us found one. Now, I'm going to say, Chris, I can't believe we hadn't found any gold coins. <laughs> Let's see if we find two gold coins now. Here we go. <laughs> I had a really low number on the um, legend. I dug it out right deep. And it looks like a time back. It's like a 20. 20 22, 24. I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be a time back. That's probably in the 1700s right there. Pretty cool. It broke off right there. We'll check the hole make sure we don't see something else in here. Pretty cool. All right, we finally got a decent target here. 45. We're loving the 45s. You know that. That's what the uh, silver was before. Uh oh, I think I just hit something big down here. I'll come back up just a little bit. Could be something big iron. You never know. You just don't never know. Yeah, it's out there. Don't see anything yet. Let's see if it's in that stack. No, it's in this. And that's in that top layer, which I don't like. But let's see where it... I'm not seeing it anyway. I'm not seeing something poke out at me. So that's a good sign. If it's some kind of big old cancer or something. Oh, I'm getting hit on. Oh, that's round. Let's check it out. What we got here? Oh, man. Look at that. You know what I think that is. If I can find something inside. This might be. It's a saw blade piece. I'm almost pops. That's what it is. It goes to the end of a hand saw. It might have a like a eagle or something in here maybe sometimes they'll have like an eagle in them which is kind of cool i think it's got something in it we'll have to clean it up and close out stay tuned i like it chris what you got here man i, I think we got some gold oh come on man i'm dead serious gold. huh that's that is gold it looks like it doesn't it that's a very oh my god i think you might have gold and look at that Holy smoke! That's a small gold. Oh my god, I think that's that a is, gold ring. Oh my god, it's a kid's that is, gold ring. That is tiny. Oh my god. And we just said... We just said... I, I just went over it. He just gave it to me. It's really low, like a 19. Which gold would be low. Yep. And uh, he said, maybe it's a button. Unbelievable. I think it's got some writing in it too. Let's check it out. Awesome, man! <laughs> Cool deal. Oh, my God. The last target of the day is the best target. You just never know, do you, Chris? <laughs> you don't know. Unbelievable. We're walking back to the car. Chris gets a hit. He said, listen to this. It was really low, like an 18, wasn't it? Oh, it was my a 17 machine, yeah. on mine, yeah. And uh, unbelievable. Popped out a gold ring. A little. It's like a kid's ring. It's got some right there. We don't know what it said right there. We took small pictures. It looks like Latin or something. So we're going to check that out and let you know to close out. So stay tuned. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> Well, it started off a little bit slow for Chris and myself. Chris had hunting maybe an hour before I got there and got one button, I think. We'd walk for an hour and not get a hit. But we got a couple really good hits. It's not always the number of hits, the quality of hits. And we got it today. Unbelievable. Um, it's a little slow. You know, you like digging, digging, digging. But sometimes you got to just kind of take it slow and wait for those good hits. Let's check out it. All right. We got, oh, here's some stuff I've dug here. It's some, some melon. I don't think that's a shoe buckle. It's too thin. Some other brass keys. A little bit of, that's the back of some kind of lock or something. Chris did get another lock here. I don't know if it's Civil War or not, um, but it could be. I, I couldn't find one online just looking for it. Anybody got, know what that one might be? Put it down below. It's a star on it, so it's kind of making me think some kind of military. 
Um, this is pretty cool. This, this was made in 1896 to 1917. I'll put a picture up there. It's uh, it's a, it goes to a saw, a hand saw. This is like a little emblem that is screwed into the saw right there. And I found those before. Is I think H. Diston and Son or something Philadelphia written down there. It's pretty cool actually. I, li I like finding those. This is that strange mella I found. It, it is silver. I did a little uh, scratch test on it. And it's white metal. It's non-magnetic. Heavy. I think it's 23 grams right there for that little piece. So it's got the silver weight to it, but it didn't It didn't test sterling silver. It could be pure silver, not sterling. I don't know. I don't have a test for that. But um, it's interesting. I'm not sure what that is. Not It's too heavy to be aluminum or something. So white metal. Not sure about that one. 1973 dog tag. That's 50 years old right there. He's no longer here. I guarantee you that. And my main find today was this right here. And it was not long after I got there. I think it's 1885, I think it is. A seated Liberty dime, which is pretty cool right there. This front's not in too bad a shape. You can still read Liberty on it right there. I didn't clean it at all. I'll, I'll give everything to, I'm giving everything to the owner. We are, everything we find. And I will let them clean them up. Because sometimes, some people like them, leave them like that. Some people like just get it all shiny. So, it, it, when it's your coin, you can clean it any way you want. A uh, few little clock parts. A couple modern sinkers, a couple of little, um, like a little small musket ball. Um, see, I did have, where's my other button? I got another button here I got to go show you too. I, I did get a, a button. I must have had it in the bathroom when I was cleaning it. It's still in there. But I will show you that at the end here. Um, he's got a, I got another, I got one of these. Maybe this is the one I found here. Uh, so I think it's a weedy. Uh, a button. This is Chris found a button. Some other little metal. Uh. Let me run and get that other button. I had everything in there. Clean it. That's why I had a few more targets here. Uh, that's that button right there. So I'm sure it's a Tom back for the number and the, and the look of it right there. Some kind of uh, musical instrument right there. That's reeds going there. You can see right there. You can see them. The reeds will be on top of that making the noise. It's a little big for a harmonica. So I'm not sure there might be another instrument right there. Uh, I did get a weedy. I hadn't cleaned it up yet. But there's the weedy. And maybe a... Um, Bail seal. Got a little design on it, so I'm thinking of bail seal on that right there. Uh, anyway, got that. Yeah, that's, that was Chris's. He, he found a weedy too, and, and the rest of we just talked about. But the main find of the day is right there. Oh my god. We're looking at a probably pure gold posy ring from probably the 1600s, what I'm thinking. Uh, it's got some writings, no, no markings in it. It's got one little stamp in it. We'll, I'll put some pictures up there as I'm talking here. Uh, Virtue, uh, sounds like it says Pekith, uh on it. And it's, um, I'm not exactly sure if that's a K, a B. I'm not sure we hadn't really figured that, figured that out yet. And Riches at the end. Virtue, Pekith, Riches. I'm not sure. It's uh, pretty cool though right there. It's, it's little, real small as you can see. It barely fits top of my little finger right there so it'd definitely be a, a very small woman there or a kid maybe i'm not sure it's got to be pure gold that came i hadn't even cleaned it i didn't even wash it off that's how it came out of the ground right there chris chris found it and i walked over and picked it up and that, that's it we hadn't even cleaned it I, I tell you when you got pure gold it doesn't tarnish change a bit that is crazy that is a find of the day right there unbelievable all right well We'll try to get some more info on that. Now, on one of my update videos during the week, I'll try to update everybody what we find out about that ring because that is a super cool find. Find of the day right there. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. And we'll see you tomorrow on another adventure. Stay tuned. <laughs>